the trap of self-improvement. Um, I'm talking from my experience, but I think I've read somewhere that uh, many other people experience um, this kind of state where, you know, you get into self-improvement through a book, through some kind of video, or through someone, uh, someone's advice, and you notice that after some some time, a few years maybe, uh, you go, you you went through a lot of books, you went through a lot of videos, courses, and this kind of stuff, and actually not so much has changed, at least not on such a level like you like you imagine uh, right at the beginning. And every every book, every tip you, you discover about it just doesn't seem to be to be it. Doesn't seem to help enough to improve your life on such a level like you would like to. And for me it gone to the state where I bought a book you know, I had, I had some kind of expectations, like I'm going to find something, some kind of gem, some kind of idea that just, that just, that will, that will just flip the switch and change a lot positively in my life. And um, it came to, to this, that I didn't even um, finish the book. Like I went, uh, to the half maybe, maybe sometimes a bit less and I just left the book on the side and I just went for something else. And then I came to the book after a few months and I went through it again, it wasn't it and um, you know, or so sometimes I pick some idea from the book and implement it for some time but I don't really Build, build a habit uh, and it doesn't actually you know create the the kind of ripple that that, that changes things uh, in the way I live my life mm, and I want to change it but mm, it requires some kind of different mindset and a different um, a different perspective, maybe a different um, chain of thoughts when it comes to not only consuming uh, the ideas, uh, but also implementing it. And I think for most of us, uh, implementing these kind of ideas, um, it's, it's really hard, especially when you have a, a lot of habits that contradict um, this kind of positive um, influences into your life and reading reading this kind of books consuming this kind of self-help material just gives you this this positive feeling where 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 you where you where the flame of your hope just gets bigger and bigger thanks to it um, it just works like some kind of tinder just and you know hope is good but hope can also be your en enemy so you have to be doing stuff and hope uh, most of the time it won't help you it just keeps you in this cold in this cozy mindset like mm, you would lie in your bed uh, under a blanket and it's super warm and it's super comfortable and you and it's winter it's it, it's morning but it's still dark outside and you don't don't want to go outside and actually confront with the cold confront with the darkness so you just lay there and at, 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 at the, like in the beginning it's a really nice feeling but if you spend too much time in this state you just kind of feel this this uncomfortable, this this pain inside, where you just know it doesn't it doesn't sit right with you. And doing it's actually really hard for 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 this this group of persons where 
we just like to you know indulge in this pseudo self improvement because that's how I like to call it. Mm, it's not real self self improvement. I think if we would really mm, have the necessity, like this fire burning inside that we have that we want to change, uh, we wouldn't need so many ideas to actually flip the switch. I think one good book. Not even the whole book, like one idea from the book, implemented, and through the experiences of implementation, properly understood, would actually suffice. And when I come to this realization from time to time, it just it just pains me so much. This whole loop with 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 this pseudo self improvement. It's really hard to get out, you know, you you have some people that you look up to, you have uh, media that you, that you consume and from time to time there is another book, another course, another another video that that promises to change your life and you just go and buy it and you go through it, you don't actually finish it, you don't understand the ideas, you just... It just inside the hope, inside the hope, and that's that's where it actually ends. Maybe not ends. It just it will just loop until you, until you just, you know, you you say it is what it is, and this whole self improvement isn't for me, and you just ditch all the stuff, or I don't know. Maybe you actually improve somehow. Maybe you just change your mindset. Mm. So 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 doing doing and the basic ideas are simple we just have to make stuff we just have to do these little things we just have to uh, decrease the amount of of thinking and just go and do like doing is, is that's the fuel of of change 